Hello everyone and welcome back to another Beer Lay Beer Review. Today we are at the Stone Brewery in Berlin. Today we're going to be kind of doing like a brewery tour slash multi-beer tasting. Before the brewery tour, we had a little bit of time, so naturally I ordered a beer. First up was the Sarkovisa. This is a Mocha Stout 8.1% alcohol by volume and brewed right here in Berlin. It is extremely dark. Tastes, however, freaking amazing. It's like chocolatey, it's really smooth. There's not a lot of bitterness despite the high IBU rating, but it's a really, really, really delicious beer, I'll tell you that much. This is beer one of many coming up today on Beer Lake. started this off with a tour of the Stone Brewery in Berlin, which was opened just last year with an investment of 32 million euros in the Stone's third of four production facilities. The large hall used to be an old gas production facility, which supplied Berlin street lamps with energy. Now the hall is used to serve up a little different type of energy. Along with the restaurant, the brewery houses a 10 hectoliter test brewery for smaller batches and collaborations, as well as a 100 hectoliter beautiful and beastly main production line. Beer takes about eight hours per batch to brew and three weeks to ferment and bottle. Stone uses over 20 different types of malts and about 20 different varieties of hops in their line of beers, all of which are ales. But Stone is actually going to start experimenting with lagers for the first time in the brewery's history this year and will take place at none other than the Berlin Brewery. Stone also collaborates with other breweries from around the world, as well as vineyards and whiskey distilleries like Slurs to acquire barrels for special barrel-aged brews. This adds about three months onto the total production time, as well as a few euros to the price of each bottle, but the beer that comes out takes on the flavors and characteristics of the barrels, which makes for some really interesting and delicious creations. Stone is also gonna be trying an industry first this year in Berlin by aging a beer in a giant granite crucible. I wonder where they got the idea to age a beer in a stone. After the tour, we took part in a tasting of some of the beers that are brewed at the brewery. First beer was their traditional Stone IPA. It's the most popular beer that Stone brews. It's a very nice and well-balanced West Coast IPA with good amount of bitterness and also very nice light and fruity hop flavor. Up next was the Kelly Belgique IPA, which is the exact same as normal IPA. Same hops, same grains, same ABV, but with a Belgian yeast. This gave the beer a completely different flavor profile. Banana aromas and a sweeter, more spiced flavor, typical of Belgian ales. Very interesting beer and was amazing to taste just what a change in the yeast culture can do to a beer. Beer number three was another very popular brew, the Arrogant Bastard. Named Arrogant for its strong red ale profile and bastard because back in 1997 when this beer was first brewed, two batches of beer accidentally got mixed together to form this concoction of a beer. Definitely an interesting one to try for sure. And batting cleanup was the Coco Vezo, which you guys have already seen. By far my favorite of the four and possibly of the entire night. Really, really good beer. So we just got done with the uh, tour. You guys saw all the beers that I tried after that. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, never do video recording with friends ever again. So you guys saw all the beers that we tried after the tour. One thing that I didn't take any video of was after we took the tour, the tour guide gave us a try of the go-to IPA, which is what I have right here, and it tasted so good that I wanted to do a really small <laughs> mini review on it. It's an IPA. It is a 7.4%. It is 65 IBUs. However, there's a super crap load of dry hops that are added in afterward. So it's got a really, really awesome aroma. It's really fruity, really hoppy, but it's like not overly bitter. We're getting really nice, light, fruity flavors, and the aroma is really nice, and people are still fucking with me. <laughs> then dinner finally came. I had the smoked salmon steak with veggies. It was a little bit undercooked for my liking, but still really good, especially with the go-to IPA. So we're on to our next beer at the Stone Brewing Company. This is a Berliner Weisse. It comes from Berlin. It's a Berlin style type of beer. It is a sour beer. 4.7%, nine IBUs. So it's not gonna be bitter whatsoever. It's gonna be sour though. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Definitely sour. No bitterness, no hoppiness. It's really like nice and juicy and very kind of a citrusy yeah, and it, fruity, juicy yeah. type of a beer. Remember, kind of reminds me of the Belgian sours and the Lambdix, if you will. Yeah, I'm just, I'm I'm bad. Bad. 
So we're down to our last beer at the Stone Brewery. We are drinking a barley wine of all things. We've already done a review on a barley wine. Clink up in the left hand, upper right hand corner if you guys want to see a, another video on that. It is from 2015. It is 11% and it is going to be extra hoppy. It's got an IBU of 80. so. Expect some bitterness in this, but also some like sweetness. And uh, let's try it out here. <laughs> Very nice, really sour, but also like sweet. And it says it is extra hoppy, but you're not getting like a lot of extra hoppiness to it. It's not too bitter. It's, it's kind of hiding the the hoppiness of the beer. It's really cool color too. Look at this color. So with that's gonna do it from the Stone Brewery in Berlin, Germany. If you guys are over here, I recommend that you come visit. I'm a little drunk. There's literally nobody else in this restaurant. We closed this place out. So we took the tour, we tried some beers. Try not to step over this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys next time on Beer Late. Peace. Is this, is this gonna work? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Video bombing. <laughs> Video bombing. <laughs>